Hi everyone, this is Jen from Fluff Love and CD Science, and this video talks about diaper snaps and how to fit a diaper to your baby. So often people will get a diaper and they just see this like crazy jigsaw puzzle of snaps and they have no idea which snap goes to which or how any of it works. So hopefully this video will take out some of the mystery of that. So basically on most diapers you have two different sets of snaps. You have the rise snaps here, which make the diaper taller or shorter. And then you've got the waist snaps or the wing snaps here, and those make the diaper tighter or looser. So the way that it works is for the rise snaps, you usually have one set of male snaps right here, and the male snaps are the ones that stick out. And then you have usually two or three female snaps right here. So all that you do is you snap these male snaps down into one of the female snaps, and the size of your baby will determine which one you should pick. So at that point, you've got the height of the diaper adjusted. And so then you put it on your baby, and then you snap the waist snaps. And at the end of this video, I'll show how to put a, a diaper on an actual baby and how tight you want to get it. Most people are prone to doing it a little bit too loose. So at that point, you've got the diaper on your baby. Some people get really kind of OCD about matching the snaps right here, and they don't like having an uneven number of snaps. It really doesn't matter. You can just snap it to however it fits your baby properly. So now I'll show you a few diapers and examples of what they look like with the rise snaps all the way up or down. So here we have three of the same diaper in different prints, and they're snapped tighter or looser to fit different babies of different sizes. So all the way on the left, we have the diaper snapped down to the smallest rise snap. And so that'll fit a baby up to about 16 pounds or so. It depends kind of on how skinny or chunky the baby is, but that's a, a good rule of thumb. And then also that waist snap is snapped as tight as it can go. So that'll fit a pretty small baby. And then in the middle, you have a diaper that snapped to fit a baby from about 16 to 22 or 23 pounds, somewhere in the low 20s. And the waist snap is also snapped kind of more in towards the middle. And then all the way on the right, you have the diaper fully unsnapped. And so that will fit a baby up until somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 pounds, depending on how chunky it is. Now, just because you have the rise snap snapped all the way down doesn't mean that you need to snap the waist snaps in all the way. Often you'll have to go up a rise snap, but then snap the diaper a little bit tighter. So those things can vary a little bit. So I'll show you a few more specific things about snaps. So some diapers have two wing snaps, and then other diapers have three wing snaps. And often it's the more inexpensive diapers that have that third wing snap. And they have that third wing snap to prevent wing droop, which is where this part of the diaper just kind of falls down around the baby and it looks really funky and doesn't hold liquid in very well. So you might see two snaps there or you might see three. Additionally, some diapers have what they call crossover snaps, where one set of the wing snaps has female snaps. And so what that lets you do is it lets you snap the diaper down really tightly for very small babies. So you can put one set of wing snaps in, and then you can actually cross it over. And so this other wing can come all the way over and snap into that. And that will get the diaper really, really tight for very small babies. And so I've done that on this all-in-one diaper. And you can see that this wing snap is crossed over on top of this other one. And then people will also sometimes use it if they have a really soiled diaper that they have to throw into the wet bag. They'll snap the diaper like this and that will keep all the, the soil in and you can actually kind of cross it over. And so that's a good little trick as well. So speaking of tricks, I'm going to show you a way that you can sometimes snap a one size diaper down for a newborn. So all the diapers that I've shown you are one size diapers and they say they fit babies from birth till potty training, but often you really can't get a very good fit on them with newborns because these leg holes are just a little too big. So I'm gonna show you a trick for sometimes, that will sometimes work on newborns. People say it doesn't always work, but sometimes they can use this to get a good fit. So you start with the diaper totally unsnapped and you fold down the top like this. And so that takes a few inches off the top and then you take the snap, the, the wing that has the female snaps, and you cross that over. And instead of snapping it onto the wing snaps, you actually snap it down onto the rise snaps. So you're using the, the rise snaps as though they're a wing snap. And then you take this other wing and you cross it over and you snap that into the female snaps of the other wing. 
like that. And so at that point, you've got a diaper that's a lot smaller than it would be even in the smallest one size setting. So you can see how this one is a good bit smaller than this one right here. You've gotten it a little bit shorter. So people don't always say that it works. They say that sometimes the leg holes are still too loose, but that's a good thing to try. Now this will only work on diapers that have the female wing snaps. Um, so it wouldn't work, for example, like on a bum genius that doesn't have those female wing snaps, but you can, you can do it on diapers like an Alva or a Happy Flute or a Sun Baby usually. So that's one trick. So I'm going to show you another kind of snapping diaper and you don't see this quite as frequently, um, but you often see it in like a fitted diaper and a lot of the, um, the independent diapers will do this. So instead of having rise snaps, these actually have a fold over. So if you're using this diaper on a larger baby, you would just do it like this and snap it like normal. But if you wanted to use it on a smaller baby, what you would do is you would fold down this whole front panel and there's another row of female snaps right there. So you've got female snaps right here, and then if you fold it down, you've got female snaps right here as well. And so then you just snap it over and you use that. So again, you often see that on fitted diapers. And so here's another one that's made like this, and this has contrast contrasting colored snaps. And so this actually has a little male snap right there to hold the diaper when it's folded down. So that's kind of a nice design. And so then once you do that, then you've got your other row of female snaps right there and you can snap it like that. So these are both independent diapers. They're not made by big manufacturers and you don't often see this design on the uh, kind of more popular diapers, but it's a, it's a neat little trick for, uh, for a lot of the independent diapers. Most diapers that you see nowadays do have the rise snaps, so you can fold them down and make them more one-sized, but there are some diapers that don't have rise snaps. So a lot of Raga Babies, this is a popular brand, it's got this little star that you can recognize it by. A lot of Raga Babies don't have rise snaps, and these are sized, you can get them in like newborn, small, medium, large. So um, the, the drawback to that is that one diaper doesn't fit the baby from, you know, a couple months all up to potty training. You have to buy multiple sets of diapers. And uh, a lot of fitted diapers are still sized. Um, so this is a sustainable babyish fitted diaper. And this also comes in like newborn, small, medium, large, extra large. Um, so again, you have to buy multiple ones of those. So for that reason, most diapers that you buy nowadays will have those rise snaps and they will be one sized, but every now and then you'll come across some that aren't. Uh, so one more thing, a lot of people want to know if they have to unsnap the rise snaps before they wash the diapers. We usually say no. Um, the act of snapping and unsnapping actually causes more stress on the diaper right around the snaps than washing them with the rise snaps uh, done up. So we say just leave the rise snaps as they are, throw it in the wash, and, uh, and you don't have to worry about unsnapping and snapping that. So that's a quick tutorial on how diaper snaps work. And if you need any more information, check us out on fluffloveuniversity.com or join the conversation on Facebook at Fluff Love and CD Science. So now I'll show you uh, the fit of a diaper. So this is Arthur, who is modeling his bum genius free time in Hummingbird. And so you can see that the diaper is sitting just a little bit below his belly button. And so I've got it snapped down pretty tight. And so I can fit a finger into the side pretty easily, but it's not so loose that it's hanging off his legs. Additionally, I've got the diaper sitting right there in the crease of his thigh, kind of like where an underwear line would be. So up here at the waist, it's fairly snug, and again, I can fit a finger in pretty easily, but it's not so loose that it's gaping or falling off. It's pretty common for people to put diapers on too, uh, too loosely because they're worried about hurting the baby or because they see marks on the baby afterwards, but it's kind of like wearing a pair of socks. You might have, you might have little lines on your, on your ankles after taking the socks off but that doesn't mean that it's too tight or that it's hurting you. So that's a, that's a pretty good fit of a diaper.